Hello, everybody. Today, we want to talk about some typical questions regarding data exchange between a GUI and the middleware and show some best practices based on years of experience. Derived by the standard interface described by Embedded Wizard, we will show you the data model architecture, which is also available as an add-on and can bring some advantages in your projects. We will handle this in an interview style where Chris is taking the role of a UI developer and me as GUI services specialist. So Chris, you told me that you have some questions regarding the data exchange between a GUI and the middleware. Please let me know which questions you have. Hello, Rudolf. Yeah, um, when you say middleware, probably you're referring to the software part managing the application data. So yes, that's right. In the past, I often had trouble separating the UI from the so-called middleware and the data exchange between those two, these two parts. So my first question is, how to handle the data exchange with embedded wizard in a proper way? Mm, that's something which can be realized in many ways. The default way is to use a device interface, which is recommended by the embedded with the documentation. Do you know this? Yeah, you know, I've actually used the device interface before, but somehow uh, I ended up with about 2000 variables and update functions, which just resulted in a very pure overview. Uh, is there any other way to do this? Well, that's something many people do when they start with Embedded Wizard. The recommended way within the documentation is to use multiple device interfaces grouped according to the system functionality. Let me show you a short example where this is done. So that's now a project where within the unit device, here we group the device interfaces into interfaces for power, network, storage and sensors all right uh, breaking them down into several device interfaces is something i hadn't thought about that's nice but that still leaves me with a second headache since i have a lot of data that keeps changing all the time so the middleware has to keep calling all the update methods non-stop even the UI is not showing any of these values. Is, is that right? Um, yes, but that's not necessary. Within each device interface, you can use the init and done to inform your middleware about the life cycle within the GUI. Only when the device instance is alive, it, it should be updated with actual data. This will allow you to pass data to the UI when it is shown only. Mm, got it. So now I've got multiple device interfaces for a better overview and only the ones I'm currently using are active. But doesn't that mean that I still have to manually create all those thousands of update functions and variables? In, in addition, uh, our middleware team would prefer to stick us to their own C interface rather than dealing with all those generated update functions. Is there a more generic way to handle this? Uh, that's a topic which often comes up for big developer teams. Here you can also control the C part which calls the update functions by yourself and uses the APIs defined by your colleagues. But uh, alternatively, you also can use our data model, which is an additional module providing a more abstract definition of data exchange between the GUI and middleware, but based on the standard device interface. Let me show you here how this would look like. So here 
you have the graphic UI interface, interface your application, and then the model, and below the middleware. Interesting. I'm guessing this additional module is like an add-on to Embedded Wizard, right? And could you demonstrate this data model, please? Yes, we as GI services offer a set of so-called custom modules, which have been developed based on experience with several customer projects. They are purchasable and can speed up the development with ready to use proven code that can be customized if needed. So this is more application code instead of a standard functionality of embedded wizard. One of these modules is the data model which is an architecture for data exchange by using data points. Each of these data points have a value and a set of attributes like min, max, and also additional other attributes like a unit. And it's represented as a single device interface. And here, as you see, you uh, use an Excel sheet and then you generate for embedded wizard and for the C code. Okay, uh, great. That sounds like a framework designed for exchanging data between the UI and the middleware. Uh, exactly what I'm looking for. So could, could you show me how it works more in detail and starting with this Excel sheet? Okay, yes, sure, I can do. Let me show you this Excel sheet. So here we have the Excel sheet where you simply define all the different data points you need as communication between your middleware and your GUI. You define the, type, the name of the data point, its type, also any default value which is set, and if necessary, also any minimum, maximum, or additional attributes. And then you just type here in the code generator, generate code, and then you will get the code for your embedded wizard project and for your middleware. Okay, hold on. Um, I have understood that the Excel sheet creates for each data point, like a temperature sensor in the Excel sheet, an object on UI side. That makes sense on UI side, but how does this solve my issue with creating all those update functions and how to know all their function names. Does this Excel sheet also generate all the update functions for every data point? Okay, understand what you mean. Here we have the overview and we simply generate here the C code. And this interface is a quite simple interface with standardized function calls. I just will show you here for the life cycle. We call here the device driver register model and the device driver unregister model. And the only part you have to do beside, uh, within these functions, you have to inform your middleware that this model is alive. And for the data exchange, also here is a quite simple interface. Like here to call, we call device or you call device driver update model in 32 value to pass data to the user interface by simply just adding here the related ID of the data point and the value. And the way back, it's just that from the UI, we call the function device driver set model in 32 value. In the same way here, we just pass the model ID and the value which should be transferred back to the middleware. Does this explain? Uh, yes, so, so that's a, uh, uh... The, the, so this data pro, uh, data model provides a generic interface, which is used by the data points that are automatically generated out of the Excel sheet. That sounds great, uh, but that means also that no update functions need to be created manually. Fantastic. Can you show me how the data points are used within the GUI? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Let me show you the example which we have here for the model. So that's our model example. And here, same as I have shown you in the Excel sheet, we have now the generated model objects. And these are all these objects which I previously defined in the Excel sheet. 
and these can be used. But how to use them in the project? Let me do this in a quite simple way. I just will go here to the application and let's go here to any of the screens. Let's say I'm here in the home. And if I want to use our model, I already have here some examples, but I can, I can do it in a very simple way. I just would here, for example, use a gauche element. And now I want to connect it to one of these models. And that's quite simple. I just go to the inspector, go to the outlet, and here I'm searching for one of the models. And what I had here, for example, there is a model objects heater temperature value, and I connect it. And at this point, I already would get all the new values which you pass from the middleware to the UI, and the gauche element would react on it. Even my project manager can define all the data points using just Excel, and that will generate all the code we need. Then my middleware team can integrate the standard generic interface API to get the data across to the UI and back again. And all the while, the while I can work with these defined data points very comfortably with an embedded wizard on the UI. Hey, that sounds great. Just one last thing that's bothering me. Let's say uh, all my 2000 data points get updated. What kind of performance impact we are talking about? Mm. I guess that you will not display all 2000 data points simultaneously. Whenever the GUI uses a data point, the model registers it. So only registered data points must be updated. Within our simulation, we also just show the registered models. And therefore, I just will start here the whole prototyper where you see the application using all the different models. And here a simulation panel, which shows you what's currently alive. And when I switch here, for example, to a different screen, you also will see that on the simulation panel, the alive data models are changing. And this also saves you a lot of RAM and it saves you in terms of performance, all the update cycles for any data, which is not shown at the UI at this time. Awesome framework. I believe this could enhance the data exchange process in my projects. Thank you very much. Okay. I thank you too. So I hope that this explains a little bit how the data model architecture is working. Thank you for watching and maybe until next time.